Oh my gosh, I don't even think I was recording. All right, y'all, I'm doing my oil change. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, just looking things over on brake fluid here. According to his hash marks, full is supposed to mean you got a new set of pads. Full, it's supposed to be full when you have a new set of pads and you're not supposed to add brake fluid. That shows you, that gives you a wear indicator of how far your pads are worn, supposedly. But I don't want to really check it, but that's a good, in, it's supposed to be a good indication. So, you know, a lot of people would top off that brake fluid. I'm going to leave it alone. The light hasn't come on. If the light comes on, uh, I'll be checking the pads first. And then maybe, then maybe, you know, after I do a brake job, make sure the fluid's topped off. Because I remember I used to do brake jobs and always top it off. And you go push in the brakes and fluid would, it, you push the fluid up out of the cap. So I'm not going to do that. I learned that from another YouTuber. I'm not sure who. Anyway, I just want to show you a couple things on this uh, 2009 Pontiac G3 or Chevy Avail. They're both the same. Just like Firebird Camaro, same. Maverick uh, Mercury Comet, same. That's going old school now. But anyway, to change out this filter, it's a cartridge filter. I've already done it, so it's hard, kind of be hard to show you. But anyway, you got that cap down there. Right here. See where I put my tool on? Right there. And uh, I got a specialty socket. 24 millimeter. Six point. And it's made specially for this application. It says, do not use impact. 24 millimeter. And uh, use six inch extension. I use my flex head ratchet. Now on the uh, drain plug, it's right here. It takes 45T Torx. Hope y'all can see that. T torch. On the Torx, I must have wore it out good uh, doing brakes once because one of the ends was buggered so I had to grind it down to where I got some new meat. But it grabbed it good. Yep. Anyway, it'll work good. And uh, one thing you have to be careful about, you have to hold one hand on the head of the ratchet and push in uh, so it doesn't wobble out and, and break one of those little stars off or one of those little splines off of the you know the T uh, T45 socket or uh, Allen socket whatever you want to call it you know what I'm saying but uh, yeah I'll let this thing drip some more dang somebody getting it Oh well, he ain't coming this way. He went down the side road, I believe. Oh yeah, I can tell from the sound. He he went elsewhere. <laughs> hey, get on that rice rocket. Uh oh. Not nah, as other street. <laughs> well, anyway, y'all, that's about it. And uh, I got it jacked up on this uh, corner spot here. I hope y'all can see that. That's a uh, ship and tie down spot. Just I was gonna put jack stands under it, but it ain't no use because if it did come out, the worst it could do, uh, I, I don't think I'd get trapped under there, especially laying on my back because I was able to get up under it some a little bit with it sitting flat on the ground, so anyway. Yep. Don't do what I do. <laughs> We're gone.